All right, what's going on guys? Jetmods here. Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Ghosts. Gameplay I've got for you guys in the background today is a double chem strike with the Ripper along with 101 kills using the support package. If you guys do enjoy the gameplay, be sure to drop a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. So as you can see in the gameplay right now, I'm playing on the map Freefall. And most of you guys are probably thinking, why the fuck did you stay in this lobby? Why are you playing this map? And in my opinion, I do enjoy playing some hardcore domination on the map Freefall. Along with Strike Zone, I think it's really fast paced, but you know, sometimes it does get to the point when people start camping. But on this map, I don't find it too bad, because most of the time I'm just normally picking them off spawn and they really have no time to camp. So I think it really just works out for me on this map. And I've actually got a few doubles saved up with the Ripper playing on this map. And I really do enjoy playing on this map in general. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the gameplay once again. Now in this gameplay I actually died one off the triple so I was quite you know shattered that I ended up dying one off. I think I was in like a gunfight and there was two people in front of me and I ended up killing the first guy and the second guy got me which is you know pretty devastating. I ended up flipping my shit and I threw my controller and I was quite shattered because that would have been my second triple but I ended up failing so there's not much I can really do about that but hopefully you guys do enjoy the gameplay anyway. Still pretty impressive gameplay. So uh, in my last video, a lot of you guys wanted to see a hardcore class setup, so I thought I'd do that for you guys today. So as you see on screen right now, I put the class setup on screen for you guys, so you guys can like pause the video if you want to copy that down or whatever. But as you can see on screen right now, I've got the Ripper with extended mags and muzzle brake. Now you guys could easily change muzzle brake for grip or you know FMJ or whatever it is, uh, the bullet penetration attachment, I guess you could change it for that if you guys want to. I just use muzzle brake because I've seen a lot of people use it in hardcore and um, I thought I'd chuck it on and give it a go and it works pretty well. So my starting off perks are ready up, sleight of hand, scavenger, amplifier, blast shield and hardline. So the reason for using blast shield is that a lot of people tend to use IEDs in hardcore domination. Uh, they throw them down all over the map in random spots, so you don't really have a clue where they're going to be. So I'd recommend for you guys to either use Blast Shield or Sip Rep. I think either works pretty well, but I'm just using Blast Shield because that's, you know, what I had on from the beginning. And as you can see, I'm using Hardline in this gameplay. I wasn't actually running Hardline, so that's pretty much why I failed the triple, because I wasn't running Hardline. So if I got that first kill and I had Hardline on... I would have easily got the triple, but um, I did, wasn't running hardline in this gameplay. I think I was running agility or something like that, so I pretty much fucked up there. So I'd recommend for you guys to always run hardline no matter what, no matter what your class setup is. Always make room for hardline, it really helps a lot. And um, as you can see in my strike package right now, I'm running the support package, and I'm running the SATCOM, B-Vest, and Oracle. I think the support works out very well, especially with the B-Vest, and if you're running B-Vest by yourself, it ends up working out really well. So I recommend for you guys to run that. And I'm running the Oracle there. You guys could switch that up for something else if you want to, but I'm just running the Oracle. I think the Oracle works very well in hardcore because you don't have the HUD or anything like that. You don't have the mini-map. So I think, you know, seeing people through walls and shit like that, I think it works very well. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much my basic setup right there. And uh, yeah. So for the rest of the video, guys, I thought I'd share something a bit different with you. It's actually a tweet I found on Twitter the other day, and it's actually pretty funny, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So this tweet is from some random person called Sarah, and it's actually a threat to American Airlines, and American Airlines actually didn't take this as a joke. And obviously, the person was joking, and they weren't, you know, making any threats whatsoever, but American Airlines actually took this pretty seriously. So the tweet is from some random Sarah person and the tweet says, Hello, my name's Ibrahim and I'm from Afghanistan. I'm a part of Al-Qaeda and on June 1st, I'm going to be doing something really big. Bye. And American Airlines responds with, Sarah, we take these threats really seriously. Your IP address and details will be forwarded to security and the FBI. And then Sarah responds with, oh my fucking God, I was kidding. I'm so sorry, I'm scared now. I was joking and it was my friend, not me. Take her IP address and not mine. So I thought this tweet was pretty funny, guys. Tell me your thoughts down below. Tell me if you guys think that she should have got arrested or something like that because she did make a serious threat to American Airlines and I think she should have got in trouble by the FBI or something like that. But I believe that she did not get in trouble by the FBI or the security or anything like that. I think they finally realized that it was just a big hoax and a big joke and I think they moved on from it. But the Twitter account did eventually get banned for making that big threat. So uh, it was pretty crazy to see. 
Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Tell me your thoughts down below on this Sarah person making all these threats to American Airlines. But apart from that, tell me your thoughts down below on the gameplay. Tell me if you guys have dropped any cams with my class setup or anything like that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care and goodbye.